Right, so, so today guys, we're going to show you a way of building muscle and fat on your dog without using any supplements like Dine, Gorilla Max, anything else like that. Completely natural, nice and cheap and easy to make at home and your dogs will love it. So first things first, you're going to need some regular old mayonnaise. Any old mayonnaise will do. You're going to need some sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is a fermented vegetable which dogs seem to really really like and it helps a lot with their digestive system and it's full of protein. The next thing you're going to need is a tin of evaporated milk. Evaporated milk is really sweet so it appeals to dogs. It's also really high in vitamin A and D and full of fat, exactly what we want from it. You're also going to need some organic virgin coconut oil. It's got to be nice organic virgin coconut oil. This does wonders for your dogs, everything, skin, coat, joints, everything, really good. Then the next thing is some ground turmeric, that's just a little additive again to help with the joints and bones. Then also you're going to need some regular old oats. Oats are just a really good way of helping put some weight and mass onto your dogs and it's natural. Also here we've just got some tinned sweet potato that we've then took out and mashed up. You can add that in there as a good source of fibre and everything else to give your dog energy. And then here we have a piece of chicken liver. It's just one piece of chicken liver to go in there because you never want to feed too much liver. But it's very good for your dog. So what we need to do now is show you how to do this. Let's show you how we need to do this. So first you take your evaporated milk, pour it into your mixing jug. Then you take this same... Then you take that tin and fill it up with water into the mix. What this does is help your dog digest the milk so it just easily goes through its stomach. Then you're going to take the mayonnaise, get a tablespoon, grab three heat tablespoons, one, two, Three. Then you're going to move. Then you take the sauerkraut again and add three spoons of sauerkraut to the mix, heap tablespoons. Sauerkraut's are full of probiotics, which helps get rid of the body of any heavy metals or damaging chemicals. And it also, dogs just really love it and it's filled with protein, which helps with what we're trying to do and gain mass right now. Next, you're going to want to add the regular oats. So you add three, again, three tablespoons of oats. Now, the oats contain a high amount of vitamin B6 and iron, but it's also a really good source of soluble fibre and protein, so it's easy for your dog to pass. And it's also very good for helping them put weight on, which is what we're trying to do again. You just want to add a quarter teaspoon there of chicken. You want to add a quarter teaspoon of ground turmeric. Now, what this does is it helps with pain associated with joint issues. It's a very powerful antioxidant. It helps reduce blood clots because of its thinning attributes. It can also break down fats which can cause irritable bowel disease. So then again, a very good thing to add into this gorilla milk recipe. So next you're gonna to wanna to add the coconut oil. Just add two nice big spoons of the coconut oil. This helps, like I said, with skin allergies and infections. It definitely increases the energy levels. And it also can treat cracked paws as well if you've got your dog with cracked paws by applying some of it to the affected area. Next, you want to add the liver. So liver is a vitamin-rich protein and it also contains vitamins B and A, iron, copper, very other good things like that. And it cleanses the blood of toxins which supports healthy vision. But it has to be fed in moderation when you're feeding your dog yourself it and do be careful how much you feed it. And I'll be going into a little bit more detail into that in another video, which will be coming up soon. The next is going to be the sweet potato. You just want to add one tablespoon of that into the mix. Sweet potato aids in digestion. It's very high in potassium as well, but never feed too much of it because it, a sudden increase in the fibre can cause an upset stomach to your dog. But make sure when you do use sweet potato, if you're not getting the tinned one, to make sure you peel it because uh, it's very hard for it to digest the sweet potato with the peel on. Then what you want to do is get it all together in a mixing bowl or in a blender depending on what you have around you and 
give it a good mix. So now we've gone ahead and mixed all this up. Now that recipe ideally is four portions for two adult dogs. So if you've got yourself the one tin of evaporated milk and everything else I've put into it, that should go between either four dogs with one portion or two dogs with two portions. I mean, I just feed it to my two. I have one, I'll have one in the morning uh, or at night, and then the next day I'll have one in the morning, then at night, then I'll give it a break because you should never feed this too much. You should always be fed in moderation because you're only using it at times when you need it and just like any sort of thing which is high in weight gain and it can, if it's not introduced slowly into a dog's diet and naturally, it can really, really make their stomach bad and they have trouble digesting it. But other than that, if you need to, if you have a sick pup, if you have a unhealthy older dog or a dog that's not eating or not keen on eating no more, this is definitely a much more natural, good way of getting them to eat it better than dying, better than Gorilla Gorilla Max, anything like that. So just make sure that you comment, like, share, and subscribe our videos. More content's coming up, and keep tuned. There's some good news coming up soon as well. So please keep your. Some <laughs>